the deal, y'all? This is George Spanky McCurdy. This is my beautiful daughter, Taylor. Um, from Philadelphia, 28 years old. And um, I am a musician, I am a drummer. And I'm currently on the road with Lady Gaga, the infamous the number one entertainer, Lady Gaga. And, um, I started playing just where we are now in church. You know, just, uh, playing in church, you know, being passionate about it, and my mom and dad, you know, pushing me and you know, uh, setting me up to take lessons, doing this and doing that. And now, you know, I'm doing it professionally. My musical influence is definitely Little John Roberts, who uh, gave me lessons when I was about 11 or 12. And he's been like my, my big brother ever since. He's a phenomenal legend in the game, and I respect him. He'll always be number one to me. Little John, um, definitely Chris Day, um, Jojo Mayer, Brian Fraser Moore, my other brother, absolutely amazing. Um, and uh, Benny Kaluta and others. You know. I know for the Gaga audition it was weird because um I was listening to her music a little bit but um when I got there they played a song I never heard before it was uh, Teeth and I was like wow so you know I listened to the first couple of drummers and I was like okay all right and um you just gotta get on and play because like, a lot of cats that I know can play got on and bombed you know they were so nervous I was very nervous it's just like you know all eyes on you it's like one two three bam go so. Um, I was nervous, but like when I was little, like I used to be nervous, and my mom and dad would say, "Don't forget, you know, like you can play." Like my mom used to always say, "Well, don't forget, you can play, so don't trip." So I was just like, "Oh, cool, cool, cool." So that was an experience. I didn't audition for Diddy, but Gaga, I definitely, you know, I went to the systematics. And it was crazy, man. It was like being on like a TV show or something, like all them final cuts. I'm like, "Dang, that's crazy." But to be, you know, picked, you know, I definitely cried. I, I shed a tear, you know. I definitely did because I knew it was going to be like the biggest stage in the world. And I could just, you know, make my dad proud. And um, that's my main concern now. You know, my dad means everything to me. It's lost. It, you know, it, it means everything. So everything I do now, you know, I have to do to the fullest, you know, for him, always. Cool. <laughs> She's not just an artist, like she's a musician. Which 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 means that she functions in her gift daily. She reads, she writes, like I don't know, she'll go somewhere and just, like write a song in like a local lounge, a coffee shop, a bar or something. Like she just it's like it's what she does. Like she she writes songs, she knows garage band probably more than any of us. She'll come in and do a track, hey, look, I did this track, you know, whatever, whatever. She's just amazing. And to see her on stage, she has she has so much character. There's one thing I learned from her, is character. Like, why why hit the symbol like this? When you can hit it like boom. It's like, you know, like I just she does it. everything she does is not normal. Like she was playing the keyboard one time. She was like mm, playing like with left hand, like like the right hand is going like this. And I was like, ah. I love her, man. The gig, we have the best everything, best dancers, we have the best engineer. My drums are so loud, you can hear everything. I'm not under the track really low. Like, oh, it's bad. I couldn't hear your times. No. Come to this show. You hear everything. You can hear my heartbeat. Oh, I just wanted to say that, um, of course, Gaga, um, it's like, you know, people had a lot of stuff to say about her, you know, the whole Alejandro and supporting the gay community and all that stuff. I mean, the main thing about her that I notice is she she's she wants you to be comfortable in your own skin. It's not like she's like, yes, be gay, be gay. I want you to be gay. It's not even that. It's just that she, um, a lot of her homosexual friends or whatever is, I guess, because they're comfortable in their own skin and they're just real people. She 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 like rather be around that than someone that's struggling with themselves. So it's like as long as you're comfortable in your own skin and you want to be what you want to be and this and that. And she, she's for that, like freedom, you know? Because, um, you know, like the world is so judgmental. You know, we, um, you know, we judge a lot of people. I mean, like, we can't help it, like we're human. And like, but, because I don't really hang around any homosexuals. So like when I got there and I met the whole tour, I was like, wow. And it's like, I love everybody, everybody's my brother. I don't judge them. They're my brother, and they all love God, you know, it's, she just wants you to be comfortable in your own skin, so it's like, 
It's not like it's not like a gay tour. It's not like you know that tour is promoting gays. It's nothing like that at all. At the tour, she says you can be whatever you want to be. It's not yada yada whatever. It's about freedom. So you just take that and, and interpret it whichever way you want to. So, who are we? Who are we to call that right or wrong? You know, because we can't judge. So, you know, church. You know, church judges a lot, but. <laughs> Number one, you have to realize that every artist is completely different. So you have to, um, it's like you have to get in the gig. You have to, even from rehearsals, you have to just win the artist over. You got to watch them 24 7. You have to get to know them, get to know what they like, what they don't like. And, um, you know, and just like really, really focus on getting, getting, getting to know them. Like right now, you know, like Gaga, she doesn't want to do a show unless her drummer is there. You know what I mean? Because that, that like synergy and that relationship is formed. You know, just me listening and watching her. It's just like church. I'm on stage. I'm watching her, and it's like stuff in between me. The piano's on fire, and this and that. But I still watch her, and she still cue us. Boom. So you just gotta pay attention, and um, you gotta be versatile. You know. Listen, listen to all kinds, all, all types of music, and you know, just jam out because Diddy is hip hop, and Gaga is like pop, rock. It's like completely two different styles, completely different hi hat patterns. You know, you just have to be versatile. You have to, you know, think it then be it. So, definitely keep God first because as long as you have God first, that's that's a, a sign of order. You know, God only blesses order. He does not bless confusion. Um, like, um, I had a gig Thursday downtown, so, you know, like some of the other musicians that was playing with me, they got there late. You know, we were supposed to play at 10. They didn't get there till 10.30. Little stuff like that. If you just, be, you know, be on time and sacrifice, I'm telling you, you got to, like, open up other doors. It's just like, like, I took out my trash yesterday. I had my trash building up, and I forgot to take it out last week. So I had to get up in the morning and take it out this morning. And I felt good about that, like, cool. You know, it's like a step further, you know, some responsibility. So just got to be responsible, man. Got to keep God first. Um, practice. You have to want to play. If you don't want to play, then you don't want to do this. You know, then, um, um, you know just uh, constantly think ahead. You know, like if you see everybody else going that way, you know, try to, try to go that way. You know, try to go the other way. Just think different because if you think different, you'll be different people will know you, you'll start to be noticed, you know what I mean? It can't be one crowd of people that's doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Somebody has to stand out, so... It's a lot of advice, man. This, this career, this whole thing is, is crazy. You know, I'm still learning, I'm still fresh, I haven't arrived, and none of that stuff. I don't care how many youngins I see, or do stuff I do, whatever. I gotta keep it moving. So. Man, to, well, to God be the glory, of course, all day. You know? And like, um, technically, it's just, um, it could be like a mathematical thing, you know, just um, everything adds up to the one, so, and everything cancels out to the one, and um, everything doesn't cancel out to the one, everything does not add up to the one, it can add up to the one, and it can cancel out to the one, you have to just make it, um, that's all I can say, man, it's like, you can put six, eight times, and three, and whatever, and whatever time. You can put fit all the times in, in like, with your one signature, because it all adds up to the one. So that one, if you get to know that, you're straight. Like, nothing to worry about. That one is there, you can do whatever. Just come back and hit the one. You can, one, one, like, you always got to come back to one. That's it. So, I like, I like to have fun with it. I'm not really a, a choppy drummer. You know, I don't have, like, a, a list of them pops and stuff that I do, uh, you know, I like syncopated grooves and stuff like that, and listening to the bass player playing with him, you know, that's what jamming is about, I'm, I'm not really like a shutter or chopper, I, I like to groove and listen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, basically, to sum it all up, you know, well, like, when I was there, you know, Ty was adamant about, uh, like, no, no R&B, no secular, no hip hop, you know, nothing, just straight, straight gospel. So, um, you know, we had our our differences because, you know, me, I'm outspoken. You know, I would say, 
well, you know, what are you asking me to do? Are you asking me to, you know, quit all my gigs and just do gospel, play at church, you know, whatever. Um, make a long story short, it was a, it was a, a, a typical church ism and schism. Um, basically, it was, a, it was a church ism and schism because music is music. And right now, he just had auditions or whatever for his group. So, what he argued with me about. Now his gig is a gig. Now it's secular. You know what I mean? Because he don't know the people that's in his group now. You know, because he's gonna hire them based on auditions. Therefore, it's just like I'm working. You know, with Gaga. It's a secular gig. You having auditions. Gaga had auditions. Puffy had them. So, um, you know, he didn't like hip hop and R&B and stuff. And I was working. And you know, I couldn't quit. I, I, I like I wasn't gonna quit my job to, you know, take less money and like play at church. You know, it didn't make sense, and it still doesn't. And, um, you know, I I stand behind my decision, you know. Of course, I have my parents to talk to, but um, the reason why I work is because of her right here. You know, you, you have a daughter, you have, you know, bills and everything. You got to do what you got to do. So, at the end of the day, do what you have to do. Work, you know, keep God first, you know, pray about everything, and you'll be straight. Fast. Um, well, my album, I'm working on it this summer, um, it's called Taylor Made, and um, Taylor Made um, is going to basically focus on what, what God has for you, it is for you, you know, like, a lot of people have certain, you know, purpose that they're trying to do or whatever, and there's always people getting in the way, people always getting in the way, saying this, saying that, it's like, God has for you, it is for you, so, this album is just going to focus on uh, just what I've been through these past eight years, especially going through stuff with Ty, you know. God opening doors here, and my family that I love is telling me don't do this. It's just that whole thing. It was crazy. So, what God has for me, it is for me. I, that, I, I'm strong on that. So this album is called Taylor Made because it's just for me. I can only fit it. You can't fit it. So I'm working on it this summer as I travel in the states, and um, hopefully I'll be done by fall. Once I get home, I can bring it out. Starstruck is my clothing line. Y'all check it. Look, buckle your seatbelts. Everybody's gonna be rocking it. This um. A cool clothing line, you know, it's sporty, it could be uh, chic, it could be casual. Um, it's going to be available for ladies, men, uh, uh, eventually kids, and, uh, you know, hopefully God will bless that, you know. I just love fashion, I just want to, I want to wake up and put on my own clothes. I hear that. Like, that sounds so decent to me, you know, just wake up, put on a starstruck tee and some jeans or something. Plus, that save money, you know, my daughter, you know. She can have all free clothes. Woo. That'd be simple. But so when is that expected to come out? Starstruck. I have, well, because I'm touring, I would have to say, man, maybe like September also, once I get home, because it's a lot of work. It's kind of hard to do uh, while I'm on a roll, only because I don't have like a huge team yet. You know, I'm, I've been really adamant about who I connect to it. So, once I get a team, I can keep it moving and really push it out.